Hey everyone, Techni here with not really a review today. Something I just wanted to try and it's been on my mind and I thought it'd be pretty cool. I've been really hooked on the Razer Huntsman TE right here. Um, I did a review on both of these products, by the way, the HyperX keycaps and the Razer Huntsman TE. I also did the uh, black HyperX keycaps if you want to check those out as well. I'll leave the links right down in the description. Anyways, as far as the Razer Huntsman TE right here, it was a keyboard that was quite hard for me to get used to. The switches are just so fast. I'm talking like serious competitive edge. I've been playing a lot of the Call of Duty lately, a lot of Fortnite, and it's just incredibly quick. It really is, and it feels nice. Yeah, I had to put the O-rings on it, if you've seen that video as well, just to kind of balance out that really loud sound right there. But after putting the O-rings on and everything, I can't get away from this keyboard. I really like it. I like the way it feels and everything, so I kind of wanted to, you know, dive a little deeper into it and customize it a little bit. As you all can tell, if you've seen any of my other videos, I'm really big into black, white, and red. So as you can see, we have the Razer Huntsman right here with these stock keycaps. Some of you might be saying, well, why change them, man? They're already double shot PBT. They're fantastic keycaps. They really are. No need to change them, right? But again, I like the board so much, I want to put my own little personal touch on it, you know? So I think it's going to make a really nice combo as far as the black base, and then we'll get into the white keycaps, and then I'll be able to put my solid red RGB right over it. I think it's going to be really, really cool, but I just wanted to kind of bring you guys along and kind of show you what it looks like. So anyways, let's get to installing these things. Gosh, you know the worst part is that I just recently put on those O-rings on this board, and I put two per switch right there, two per keycap. So I got to redo that all over again. This is going to be a long one. All right, so we finally got those installed. Good mercy, that is an absolute job. Not just changing the switches out, that's a job itself right there. But again, putting on the O-rings, and I had to put two since this has the optical switches right there. Now, now one thing, real quick, let me just tell you, I've used these Ibrex switches on other like Cherry MX Red switches and whatnot, and they're, they're absolutely fantastic. Let me tell you, on these optical switches, I noticed these switches being a little bit, or these keycaps being a little bit louder than the stock Razer ones right here. You kind of hear it's like a little more plasticky sounding, I'd say. That's a HyperX, and that's a stock Razer one. HyperX and the Razer. So you see, it's like uh, the, the, the Razer ones are a little bit deeper right there. So I don't know, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I'd say personal preference. Again, it's not like massively loud or anything. Now one other thing I want to show you here compared to the HyperX keycaps to the Razer keycaps here, and it's going to be very hard to see on camera, maybe a little bit better in the space bar. Do you kind of see how the HyperX kind of rolls a little bit right here on the edge as well with the keys? It's very hard to tell, but they just roll just a slight bit more, and they got a little more concave in them right there. Again, it's very hard to tell. Maybe you can see it in the space bar a little bit better when you compare this space bar to that one right there. But again, as far as the keycaps, you got a little bit of a more concave in there, and they're very smooth around the edge edge and whenever you're using a keyboard you really really feel it um they also sit a pinch lower again very hard to tell in the camera it's not much at all just an absolute pinch but again as far as a concave and all the keycaps and everything that smooth edge you really really feel the difference and it feels fantastic but let's be honest here the real reason i put these keycaps on is for looks just to give it that customized touch right there you can see i left the black ones up there because i like having my shortcuts right there i don't memorize which keys for which you know so i want to have my uh uh, you know my functions up there as far as game mode and my brightness and all that stuff I wanted to leave those right there. And I don't think it really looks that bad You know we got the white down there. I'm gonna put my RGB as red back there You know what? Let's go on and fire this up get some effects back here and see how these guys actually look So after seeing all that RGB right there, what do you think? I know the camera never really gives RGB uh, the true justice it really deserves, but I can tell you what, me sitting here looking at it and seeing it flow right there, I don't even use Chroma. I just go in there and use Synapse, so I just got the quick settings in there. Again, I don't go into the Chroma and dabble with all that, so there's so many other options you can do with this combo as well. But anyway, straight up with those Synapse ones right there, again, I leave mine on just solid red, 
and it looks so cool. It really does. Again, with the black right there, the white keycaps and the red coming through the background. Of course, you got your different color if you're in the blue or green or something, you know. I really think the combo would just suit any setup really perfect. And it looks really awesome because, again, it just kind of shines throughout it, you know. It's not like this blinding RGB or anything. It just kind of shines and radiates throughout it. And it looks incredibly awesome. So hey, that's really it here. I just wanted to bring you guys along for this because it's going to be a really fun project. Just kind of sharing it with you guys, getting you guys' opinions, seeing what you think. Please let me know down in the comments what you think about this combo, this setup right here. Are you looking at picking up these keycaps or do you use them? Again, if you own this board, I highly recommend you doing this combo with these keycaps and definitely put on the O-rings. It makes a nice, nice difference on this board. But again, on any board, these HyperX keycaps are stinking awesome. And like I said in the beginning, I did a review on these, the black ones and this keyboard here. I just wanted to take you you guys along for this little setup here and kind of share it with you but hey thank you so much for stopping by watching this quick one i highly appreciate it if you enjoyed it hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for some future tech videos hey i hope i catch you in the next one bye now